Alright guys, it's been about a month since MyHeritage released their newest genealogy tool. This is a free tool available for anyone to use called the Photodater, and it uses AI to estimate the date that an old photo was taken. So far, my own personal experience is that when the tool is able to come up with an estimation, it tends to be accurate more often than not, at least to the decade, if not the five year range. And if you watched my first video on this tool, you saw that it accurately predicted a photo of mine to the exact year, which was impressive. However, you will also see that Photodater isn't able to make predictions for every photo uploaded to MyHeritage. Now that I know a little bit more since I did that first video, I wanted to share with you why you might not be getting an estimated date on a photo, along with a few more things that I've learned so far while playing around with it. The concept of photo data was first announced by the MyHeritage founder and CEO at Roots Tech in 2020 and brought to life with a machine learning algorithm that they developed, which took tens of thousands of photos, sourced them from places like the Library of Congress with definitive dates, and then trained to learn and analyze various details from these photos, like the hairstyles, facial hair, and clothing of the people or inanimate objects in the photo, like furniture, to place the photo within a specific time period. Much like genealogists are trained to analyze photos for these details that reveal time-telling clues. By the way, MyHeritage does make it a point to ensure its users that the photos used during training were and are not sourced from photos uploaded by its users, just in case that's a concern of yours. Also, another little tidbit that I've learned is that the tool provides estimates for photos taken between 1860 and 1990, so don't expect to be seeing the dates outside of that range. It doesn't matter if your photo is black and white or... Um, color or anything in between. Um, it just has to fall in between that date range, 1860 and 1990. This could be one reason why you aren't seeing an estimated date showing up for your photo. It also needs to be a photograph, so it won't provide an estimate for a passenger list or another type of of Word document like that. Um, however, if the document does have a photo attached to it, like this mugshot that I found, um, then it might work on that mugshot or that photo within the record, depending on the quality of the photo. It also has to have people in it, so it can't just be a building or a car. If the photo meets these requirements and it's left undated once you've uploaded the photo to MyHeritage, there's one last hurdle before that date will appear for you, and it's a little more obscure, which is the algorithm's confidence level. If the confidence level isn't high enough, it simply won't provide an estimate, meaning that the photo's quality wasn't good enough or there weren't enough identifying details within the photo to determine a date with high accuracy. Assuming that the photo of yours is all of these things, once you click the thumbnail for the photo that you've uploaded, Photodater will automatically work in the background to estimate the date, and voila, the estimated date appears usually after a few seconds. Once it appears, the estimated date will then stay put. So there's a few things that you can do after this. You could do nothing, which just leave it as it is. If you want, you can accept the date, and you can simply confirm right here, and there it is. Also keep in mind that when you accept it, this is considered an estimated date, and the metadata for the photo will reflect that in GEDCOM format like you see here. And if you're wondering what metadata even is, you can watch this other video that I did that goes into more detail on that, but just know that the information will be considered an estimate and not an exact date, unless you manually go in and change the date at a later time, which you might wanna do eventually if you later discover the exact date of your great-grandparents' wedding, for example. If you don't want to see estimated dates at all, you go up to the top of the site up here on this bar and you click on your username, then down to my privacy, content, and then uncheck this box for photo data. By doing that, you will no longer get those estimations. 
In terms of privacy, since MyHeritage is the creator of this tool, the photos that you upload to their servers aren't shared with a third party to get that estimated date. It's all done in-house, so to speak. And there's an easy way to find and view the photos that you've uploaded that don't have dates. So you upload your photos here, and then once you've done that, they'll populate in this area. And then you can filter those photos by clicking on the list icon over here. And then you click on the year range right over in the left hand corner. And then you select missing date. Now you have all of your undated photos in one place so you can easily select the ones that you'd like to estimate a date for. And then as you can see, once you've confirmed the estimated date, that will then show up here in the list like so, as I mentioned earlier, with the metadata indicating that it is indeed estimated. Being able to view your photos as a timeline like this and see the estimated and definitive dates could be really helpful to your research when you're trying to place an ancestor in location and time. And I think it's a great tool overall. As genealogists, we can really use all the clues that we can get, but it's also important to remember that the dates provided are not definitive and they shouldn't be used as fact. If you're looking at a photo of your grandpa that's estimated to be 1954, but you know that he was born in 1937 and he's clearly still a little boy in the photo, it's safe to say that the estimated date here is off. On the other hand, this tool could prove really useful if you have an old box of undated photos without descriptions or any idea as to who the people in the photos are. This tool could be a really good starting point for a project like that, especially if you aren't familiar with the styles and history of that specific time period and place. This tool can be easily used just for fun as well, even if you don't have any mysteries to solve with your photos. I have quite a few undated photos of my great grandparents, so it's been really fun to see what photo dater has come up with for that. I would love to see this tool eventually give even more detail as to why it selected the date that it did, or even what led to lower confidence levels. Some of the photos that I've uploaded that seemed to meet all of the requirements and be of decent quality still didn't come up with a date, so I'm curious to know more about why. As of right now, we see that the confidence level and probability are here. Um, but that's about the extent of the information that we get. I would love to see a breakdown of what factors it took into account during analysis. And obviously that analysis only takes a few seconds when it's working in the background, but I would love to know what's going on in those few seconds. What was it about the clothing or the hairstyle that suggested 1890? Or what object in the photo was a telltale sign that the photo was likely taken in 1930? this concept exciting because then this tool could be educational. We could be learning about the styles and the customs of a time period and place that we might not be familiar with. And there are a lot of societal and historical nuggets of information that can be learned from photos. Getting the perspective of a tool that was trained to analyze tens of thousands of photos would be an interesting one, I think. I'm sure my heritage will only continue to make improvements and advancements as time goes on, but the tools that it has right now are pretty incredible. So if this sounds like something that you're interested in using, check it out. I'd love to hear about your experience with it. As of today, the feature is only available on desktops, but they are planning to eventually roll it out onto mobile platforms as well, including their My Heritage and Reimagine apps. For those of you who've been using it for this last month, what are your thoughts and experiences so far? Are you getting estimated dates and do they seem accurate? Let me know in the comments and may the research be with you.